Hey guys, uh, this is Pamik and welcome to Cyber Security TV. Uh, today we're going to talk about the ISO 27001. Uh, this is going to be an introductory video where I would just want you to go through like, you know, what are the high level, I would say like thousand foot view of the, what is ISO 27001. We are going to break it down into uh, multiple videos. So, you know, just to kind of avoid any confusion and, and just to make it more simplified. So this is going to be a more sort of introductory. Uh, if you, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, drop a comment and, and, you know, I'll try to uh, come back to you as soon as possible. Uh, let's start with the uh, basic question like what is ISO 27001? So uh, this is a standard for information security and this is managed and developed by the International Organization of the Standardization ISO. Uh, of course ISO has many other frameworks but the entire 27000 family it belongs to the information security so like you know there is a cloud security then there is a privacy and then there is a information security there is and 27002 27018 so there are so many other frameworks from iso but this is i would say the most uh, well known standard uh, it it was pretty you know uh, common and very famous in the europe uh, pro probably like you know a couple of years ago but now it has started gaining uh, its, you know, uh, attention throughout the world. Like actually in the U.S. also now they are gaining so and so attention that ISO is has become a, such a great framework. Um, again, it's an information security standard. So what it really does is like you know it helps to secure companies' sensitive information or I would say assets such as internal data like you know financial information uh, employee information so any such information and also the external information and i would say the client data is the most critical data for any company so it tries and you know help to focus and uh, manages how to secure this sort of data so that's the aim of this ISO 27001 uh, the current version uh, is 2013. Uh, they have done some updates here and there, but they are not major updates. It's due for an update, but right now uh, the version is 2013. Uh, the most advantage, or so the great benefit, the ISO has over any other frameworks. So, like you know, other framework you talk about the SOC, or you talk about the HIPAA, or you talk about the HITRUST. The ISO is can be mapped with any other control. So ISO is sort of like, you know, superset and all the other frameworks you have is kind of subset. And the other advantage with this one is it can be used for any size of the organization. So for example, if you are a, like, you know, a billion dollar company where you have like thousand employees, you can implement ISO 27001. Let's say you are a mom and shop business. So like, you know, you are just running a some sort of small business from your sh from your home or from your local like you know a uh, small shop and you can still get the ISO 27001 certificate so it's very uh, flexible in terms of like you know um, requirements and all those things so there is it's not very prescriptive so uh, you can use uh, for your advantage and you can manage it so that's why it's really it's gaining attention and, and like, you know, uh, I guess m most of the companies nowadays, like, you know, if you go for like big companies, Google, Amazon, uh, Facebook, I, everyone has ISO 27001 because it's such a great framework. Uh, when we talk about the ISO 27001, we have to talk about the ISMS, which is Information Security Management System, because this is sort of like core component of the ISO 27001. Uh, so ISMS is a security management system. So it kind of help, you know, managing the security controls that were implemented uh, in the company. So this is like, you know, giving more attention to the management and, and giving more control to the management, how to, uh, you know, fo stay focused and, you know, make sure the controls that they have implemented are continuously uh, doing, giving effective results. So uh, it's a it's a it's a management system for information security. 
uh, as ms is a three step approach uh, now previously if you guys are aware of like you know the previous version of iso 27001 which was i don't remember probably i would say 2002 or 2005 uh, which had uh, plan do check act so you know that was the old one so like first you do plan and then you perform then you verify whether it's working or not and then you act on it so if there is something broken so but now in the latest standard which is 2013 they have removed the reference or i would say mandatory reference to plan do check act but here from my perspective so isms has been divided into three steps so first you have to examine the risk so you would do the enterprise-wide risk assessment or whatever the scope of your ISO certification is. You would perform the risk, so like, you know, risk assessment to identify what all risk you have as an organization. Then what you would do is you would manage the risk. How would you manage the risk? By implementing and designing the controls. So you would choose the controls. Uh, of course, we're going to talk about like, you know, uh, how to choose the controls and, and where you can take the reference and everything in the next video. But, uh, but yeah, so in this one, you can uh, design and implement controls based on, you know, whatever risk you have. So you can minimize the risk exposure or exploitability. And then you repeat. So every time you implement the control, you make sure your risks are manageable. If not, then you repeat and go back and design and implement some more controls until you see the risk are manageable. So that's, that's what the SMS, uh, you know, main structure is. Now let's talk about different clauses so as of 27001 are divided clauses like you know starting from 4 to up till 10 so let's start with the uh, i'll just give you a brief uh, introduction or like brief uh, description on what each clause is so the first one is context of the organization so in this clause a uh, company has to decide or, or you know uh, identify what is going to be the scope of this certification or ISO frame uh, sorry uh, ISMS so you would define so for example if you have a product so would you just limit the uh, product in the scope or would you also like to include all the other products or like you know the internal functionality internal process as well so here you know you want to identify all your internal uh, users, external users who would be interested in the ISMS and, and what would be your uh, overall scope. Next one is the leadership. So here you will define who is going to be uh, managing. So like, you know, when I said ISMS, Information System Security Management System, so who is going to manage this entire ISMS? So you will define the leadership because the ISMS is heavily relied on the management. If you get a good leadership leadership support, then you can succeed uh, in executing the SMS. Uh, next one is planning. So in this one, you would plan by identifying your objectives. So like, you know, company would define, these are all my objectives and these are also, you would perform the risk assessment. So you will identify all the risk. So here you are doing uh, planning activities like, you know, okay, what do we want to achieve as an organization? And then you can, uh, you know, work on the support. So here you would uh, get the necessary support. So for example, you need some more uh, probably employees on your, like, you know, management of course cannot do everything. So they have to delegate some tasks. So that's why they'll define the support. Like, you know, these are the employees that will be dedicated to working on the ISMS. They can define their own, you know, committee. Then they will can also give the training if the, if the employees are not uh, probably like, you know, knowledge, knowledgeable about the ISOs, then probably they can get some training. You will also do some administrative tasks like, you know, defining the templates, defining the uh, intranet where all of the documents and everything will be structured and, and things like that. Next is operations. So uh, once you get the support, uh, now you are doing the actual work. So like, you know, how uh, the risk that you identified here, you will try to mitigate those risks by probably choosing the controls from uh, other frameworks. Uh, again, we're going to talk about the frameworks in the next slide, but yeah. So you, here you would actually execute and like, you know, implement the controls and do the risk mitigation. And of course, document all those things. So, uh, you know, of course for the audit as well but then also you have the good visibility if you document each and every detail uh, next is performance evaluation so after you did all the hard work now it's time to evaluate whether you succeed or not so 
in this one uh, the uh, success measure is captured on a different level so like you know first one yeah as a company you will define the matrix so you know at the end of each quarter or probably every other every year or every six month uh, based on uh, what your criteria is or, or what is the most critical as a company for you you would evaluate whether you have succeeded or not so for example let's say one of your objective was to give the security on training to the employees now at the end of every quarter every six months you would evaluate out of all the new hires hundred hires how many of those have gone through the security on training and that's how you would see whether you are succeeding in your efforts or not so that's a one way the second way is to performing the internal audit so any independent uh, uh, person like you know whether internal or external individual or a team can perform the internal audit who has not worked on the ISMS so uh, that's the another way to uh, measure whether you know uh, you have done the good work and enough work to uh, execute the ISMS and whether it's it's going in the right direction or not so internal auditor can give you know a non-conformity and, and, and observations and everything so kind of input to the back to the management and they can work on them last way to do performance evaluation is by doing the management review meeting so the leadership team which we defined uh, earlier now they will sit together like you know again uh, the timings are flexible you can do quarterly six month one year and then they will think about uh, you know or discuss all those things like risk external factor internal factor they'll pretty much discuss about everything in the SMS and they'll evaluate whether they are going in the right direction or not and lastly uh, improvement so like you know uh, ISMS is sort of like you know ongoing task so every time you want to continuously improve yourself so every time you have an incident or like you know and any non-conformity may be raised by like you know, any question raised by internal employee auditor or a customer or anything you get the feedback and based on that you have to improve so what things you are doing what things you are considering for an improvement so all those things uh, you have to kind of uh, consider and, and, and define your SMS now many people uh, you know write a document to kind of lay down all the things which they have done uh, some people break it down different uh, different policies and, and, and procedures uh, either way is fine as long as you have a good control over your SMS so uh, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this one. Uh, next thing I would like to discuss about the ISO 27002, which is uh, very much related to ISO 27001. Uh, it's not mandatory standard. You cannot get certified against 27002, and that's why people get certified against 27001. But this is very essential standard to get past the audit because it defines a lot of controls and things like that. But yeah, we, we are going to discuss uh, uh, in detail about that in the next upcoming video uh, meanwhile uh, if you have got any questions please feel free to comment uh, you know uh, please hit like if you enjoy this video share with your friends uh, and and of course subscribe to my channel because we'll be doing a lot of you know uh, videos on the uh, ISO any compliance also I'll be talking about a lot of technical stuff like app pen testing network pen testing and tools and and give you some insight like you know uh, how to do like if you want to get started in the cyber security i'll also help you in that regard so hit a subscribe button if you haven't already so that's all for this one uh, thank you so much and have a great day